All right, we're calling it. We're calling it. In. We're done. We're done introducing because I can't. Oh, we're done. All right. Yeah. See you guys later. No, See you no, next no. time. Episode fifteen. Welcome to the sad cast. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think Two. I'm gonna do it like the intro anymore because I keep forgetting like what, what episode, episode it is, on. and then yeah. I'm like, I have to look. Can at my you phone imagine and... if it was like, "Hey guys, welcome to Sadcast episode 675." Yeah, <laughs> like, I'm done. I'm done with all that shit. So because like, we don't even want to have a season because there's gonna be so many. It's like that's just like when do yeah. you stop. What are we gonna be the next Family Guy? Yeah, season 29. Yeah, or, no. Well, how no. many seasons are they at? <laughs> the, I don't know. Simpsons man. is definitely at more. Yeah, they're like on like season 100 yeah. fucking 12 or something. I don't know. Ah, where do they come up with that shit? Yeah. Um, I do want to say last episode, um, you probably heard some echoing happening, and that's yep. okay. You might still hear it. You might still hear it. Um, we're, we're, th- this room is not yeah. ideal. So this this will be our last uh, filming in this location. Yeah. Then the next place will have more acoustic padding. We're going to Mr. Suit's basement. Yeah, and then we're... Which is just... I, I don't know if I, I told, I, I didn't tell you this because I had my meeting, my one-on-one meeting with my boss yesterday yeah. at my work and we were just talking and uh, I sent him a picture of my koi fish because I was like, uh, I was like, hey, like, I, I don't think you, because I mentioned, I said something like, I was like, yeah, sorry, I was feeding chonkers and he's uh-huh. like, what the fuck's a chonkers? Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's my koi fish and I sent him some pictures. He's like, I didn't know you had a koi fish. I'm like, yeah, I don't talk about it. Like, I have a koi fish. He's yeah, I don't nine, flex nine my inches. shit like that. I yeah, I don't, I, I keep don't it humble. My, yeah, I keep it humble. I mean, what do you got, like a six inch koi fish? Yeah, mine's yeah. nine. My, yeah, my shit's yeah. thick. Mine's, mine's my above shit, average. My shit got, <laughs> my shit got girth. <laughs> my, my koi fish is above average. No, but like I sent him some pictures. It was funny because I was talking with him and I was like, uh, I was like, yeah, I was like, we're actually going to be moving like um, the podcast to the basement. Yeah. So like my basement. And then he started laughing. And he's like, he's like, yeah, he's like, just going to be in the basement. And I was like, well, no, I got like a room for, he thought we were just going to like, well, yeah. Sit in the middle of a dingy basement and yeah. be like, hey guys, welcome to my mom's basement. Yeah. No, you know? it's, it's like uh, when you say basement, you think it's a downgrade, but this right. is actually an upgrade. I would it, say. Cause, he, yeah. Cause like we're gonna, cause we have more creative freedom there too. Like yeah, we can, we're gonna have more space, and yeah. we're gonna we're gonna ditch the table and yeah. Um, oh, set redesign. I don't want to say too much about that. No, no, no. Because no. we we still gotta yeah, we still have some stuff to figure out. But I mean, I like so about the echoing though. If you hear it, it's because now that we have actual mics that are good, you might we might kind of pick each other's uh, voices. I mean, it up. was definitely worse though on the old mics, right? No, it, you, you didn't really? hear it at all. Cause it's because I, well, that's the thing. When I before I did the audio processing though, like you heard it. So oh, I'm really? wondering if maybe I, I might have to just change kind of my because okay. these are different mics. I might have to just kind of change it up. Well, either way, the next uh, video we're gonna be like farther apart. So if you can't figure it out, we should be able to figure it out. But yeah, the natural solution would be to be farther, and I think we're a little closer to each other than most. Yeah, definitely. Like, and if it, normally when there's like that kind of like either side of the table podcast, they have one of those like foam yeah. shields that like Dude. you can't really see from the angle. You so know? I've been watching a lot of podcasts recently. Damn, way no, more. that would have been smart. Put like a, like one of the foam sheets right here in the laptop will kind of block it. Oh yeah. 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 Oh well. It'll be fixed though. I've been watching a lot of podcasts recently, just watching like how they right. how let's they, talk about everyone else's podcast and how podcasts. they clip their stuff and like and what they choose to clip and like how their sets are set up. Because I, I don't I only watch like a handful, not even and like but now my TikTok yeah. is just like that's all you're getting, dude. Like and because it, it's like TikTok when clips. I send you those, I'll send it to you as like, hey, like I like how their set is set up like this, like we should right. do this, and it's like now it's like TikTok thinks that all I want to see is like two how people other people sitting are in like a room. setting up yeah like that's like tiktok's like oh that's your thing you like yeah. watching two people just sit there yeah because i think they uh i think sharing on tiktok is like a huge indicator for the algorithm like yeah i well, think it's if you like, like it enough to share it with someone right you know but it's I mean? like i'm not all i'm You're doing not, is yeah. sharing it maybe you should get like a like a temporary burner tiktok <laughs> to do that on you know what i mean yeah yeah maybe i just have like to tiktok like, like youtube like that is actually how it works for youtube yeah. For its, its algorithm. Um, and I I actually train my YouTube regularly. Once a week I go in <laughs> and... No, it's a thing you can do. It, a lot of people don't know this, but like you can go in and if you scroll through your homepage, you can just click the three dots and do not interested. And it'll right. remove that from your algorithm. So once a week I go in and I, I train my YouTube. I remove some stuff. And then what I do is I specifically search like people I know I like watching uh-huh. on purpose, even if I've already seen the video. I mm-hmm. search it again. 
I click it, I let it play for like I think it's a minute threshold, and then I go back yeah, and I do it again, and like I do that like yeah. once uh, every couple weeks. I should start doing that because sometimes my YouTube shit's fucking. Yeah, it just lame, goes on. Bro. It's it, it's like the didn't we do a whole video? The algorithms unhinged. It just yeah, goes yeah, on it's, it just goes it's, crazy. It goes on its spree. It's like yeah, TikTok <laughs> happens like that sometimes. Like man, sometimes I go on TikTok and my feed is just not hitting, and I'm like, damn, that sucks. My feed is just all you. Yeah, cause, and I, yeah, I cause you gotta follow you. more people. I appreciate you as a friend, but I need to change that. You gotta fo- all you have to do is follow <laughs> more people. Um, Probably, I gotta find some more like creator, like that, content creators on that, TikTok. I yeah, think. yeah. Like I'm, like I got like, out there. I got like a lot of cooking ones that I followed and like liked because I really like those. You get those like you ever get them like the like quick like you know, let's do a quick meal where they just throw some shit together real fast and it looks. I don't delicious. get those, but I get the the funny like. Uh, videos of people duetting them and they're like i'm gonna watch this video or or recording until or like like i'm gonna stop the video when i wouldn't eat it so it'll be like someone's filming it until they they're like oh this looks good and then when as soon as it looks like gross or they add something gross they stop and like it's always this one dude that's like uh talking about like there's this one channel that's always like putting macaroni on everything it's like they're making like a nice like steak you know and they're like and i'll just put macaroni but it's like it's actual like what they're doing and this guy's like nope or like they'll be like, I bet you they're gonna fucking put macaroni on it. I bet they're gonna put macaroni on it. And they're just yeah. I'm like, God, yeah. put the macaroni on. I that. would. I I kind of want to thrive on that like, like the hashtag going Joker chaos of that shit. The what? The going Joker, like watch the world burn kind of shit. Yeah. Like I would. I kind of feel like I could thrive on that TikTok. Like I could do some shit. Like because a few of our people have been like, we want a Mr. Suit cooking. We should actually have that. And I'm wondering if I should do like a TikTok where like I do some of that like shit like that where it's like, it's like I'm cooking this amazing thing and it looks awesome. And, and then, then you just take a big ass shit on it. <laughs> No, or it's like, but it's like, it's like some stuff. Else. And now we add the cottage cheese, yeah. and I just like pour, like, like just, I just, I, I poop gack at it. Yeah, poop, <laughs> I, poop I gack get, all over it. Poop gack. <laughs> I get that, like, you know. And now, uh, now it's better. You know, yeah. like I just like, eh, just and destroy a good. That meal. would be like, I feel like I've I've watched a lot of those videos, and people, I think they they purposely do stuff. To get Boop to gack. to get their to get their duets up, boop gah, boop gah. You know I can't get over that. That's so good. Like, like they'll like. There's this one dude that's like duets these videos, and it'll be someone like cooking eggs, and they'll like leave the shell. They'll leave leave like a piece of the shell in, and he's like, oh, grab the shell. You didn't grab the shell though. Grab the shell. Grab the shell. Grab the shell. And they <laughs> they just do mix it. It's in. just the unsat. They do unsatisfying. Yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. But like, I don't know if they're like doing it like to be like funny or if they're like actually just forgetting it and then people like catch it and they're like dude no i feel like i feel like you i feel like you're self-aware dude have you seen there's a cupcake channel and they did like stranger thing cupcakes with kate hill like to try to or kate hill kate bush Uh running up the hill to try to push their stuff i was laughing because i was like i'm really good at baking by the way like i'm i'm amazing at baking Uh i make cakes all the time i do fondant i do all that um but i was thinking of duetting they did like the demigorgon where it was like they did little star cupcakes and then they like sm- and i was thinking of doing it like almost perfect like duetting with them at the same time almost perfect and then just some shit of like i go to smear it it falls off the edge and slams onto the floor and I'm like shit or some yeah. shit like that like you work you work so hard on it right or it's it. like it's like it's like it looks like i'm working hard and then it comes like that like final pull out and then it's just like all, <laughs> it's all fucked it's up. like shit <laughs> Yeah, um, there's one that I see a lot where like uh, people will make smoothies and they throw the kiwis in and they like right. leave. They leave the skin on or something. No, they leave the sticker because you could eat the skin. Which like I just learned that on fucking TikTok too. Oh, you didn't know you could eat kiwi skin? No, I. It's no idea. not ideal because it's fuzzy, but yeah, you can. Yeah, like some dudes like this is how I, you, you really you can supposed eat, to eat like it. orange skins. You know that right? Like that, you can I've, eat orange rinds. So that honestly, like, that sounds disgusting because. Um, like you ever get an orange peel in your mouth? It's kind of bitter. It kind of tastes uh, weird. Yeah. Well, um, Giordano's. Did you, you ever get like calamari there? No. So they deep fry, you know, like the deep fried calamari, but then a deep bit of fried a calamari. Yeah. Mamma mia! A deep bit of fried they, calamari. They, they have lemons, thin slices of lemons that uh-huh. they've breaded and deep fried, and yeah. you just eat the whole thing, skin and all. It's actually. It's actually fairly good because when you deep fry it, it does remove ow, quite a bit. Yeah, oh I was like, it's actually it's actually it's actually very good. I like to eat like twenty of them. <laughs> that would be my big fat ass. 
<laughs> that shit's funny. That shit is funny. I like that. Mm-hmm. Guy. That'd be my big fat ass. That my, shit tastes good. My buddy good. sends me like all his shit. Like yeah. he'll yeah he'll send me like that. Remember I said the Seven Eleven one? Like yeah. he sent me. Who's, that. Eat, like, who's this? eating this? That'd be my big fat, fat ass. Fat ass. That's I a pretty do. good impression, right? Right. Yeah. You. Well, I mean, you know. You know. <laughs> Come on. Do you go into Seven Eleven and eat the hot dogs? Uh no. But, okay. Actually, yeah, like you you've driven around. Yeah, I've driven. Like the con- yeah, yeah, I drive. Like you, you've but like to other states. Like you, you've done the yes. highway. The road I've been trips. in other states before. Right, but you've like road tripped. So like when you stop at like, like you stop at like pilots or flying J's or like bigger truck stops. Mm-hmm. Kind of like like are you ever like do you ever walk in there and like look at the fucking like, gross like dried hot dogs and case or the the taquitos and the hot dogs or whatever and it's like you do you look at that and just go. Mmm, that looks so delicious. I'm going to buy one. Like, who? No, but if you are a truck driver that, like, just got off, like, a fucking 75-hour driving shift. But they're always attached to, like, a food place. I don't, yeah. I don't know. They're on the go. The, the, I, I, I would Maybe be that's curious. The you I just... mean, I've never tried it. I mean, what if they're good? What if they're, like, actually really fucking good? Yeah. I've tried, uh, I've tried, I... When I went to that one, like the world's biggest truck stop or whatever, yeah, Iowa, the one in, like oh Iowa, Indiana, that, whatever, yeah, yeah, Iowa, they, right, yeah. They uh, had a bunch of shit there, and I don't know what it was, but like I settled on like I I got like a truck stop salad, like it was like oh they, you know those that's salads? how that's how Fry got like worms in Futurama. Well, or no, he ate like an egg sandwich salad or something. Or okay, so sandwich. I like I just went in there and I I like got a salad and um, it, was, it was okay. Yeah, I, it wasn't I mean, like I've, great. Yeah, I've, I've it was kind of dry. stuff like that. Like I bought like the the pickles and stuff, and you know, but like I never understood the eggs thing. I would never buy <sighs> something that was like I can't, I don't even do that in like grocery stores. You ever go to like you know like uh, you know, Jewel, Aldi, Meyer, or whatever, and mm-hmm. and like like you see the they got the eggs, and then they got like the bag of like the pre hard boiled and peeled eggs. Like I just don't even trust that. Like why would I? Yeah, no. Like that just seems so. That's like you're like rolling the dice on that. They could take a syringe and just no, not even ju- that. They, they like, could just put some shit in there that you wouldn't even know. I mean, maybe, but like not even that. that like shell. you're just you're just you're just dude. You're rolling the dice because it's like that that egg was like it, it came out of a chicken's a chicken's poop gack. Yeah, you know? <laughs> you know? and then it got boiled in some factory and deshelled and put into that packaging and sealed before. It was even shipped to the grocery store. Yeah. And like, so that didn't come from a farm. That went from a farm to a factory to get boiled. Like, that's a long time for an egg. And I don't know if you guys have ever boiled eggs at home, but you leave those motherfuckers in the fridge for like two days and then you open your fridge like, and it's like you could be declared a, a crime. Yeah. Like, there's no way that they don't put some type of like fucking preservative or, or something. liquid in that <laughs> bitch to like make that shit like. Like last, yeah. I just I don't trust it nowhere. Like I just can't trust that shit, man. Yeah, it's so sketchy. Yeah. But I tell you what, um, there was a place we used to go, uh, coming from North Carolina to here. It's it's in Virginia, I think. It's called like Tamarock Plaza or something, and it's like a tourist stop off. Mm-hmm. Um, and I tell you, they've got like a little shopping mall. Uh, like art exhibits and stuff. It, it's it's just straight up like off the highway okay. tourist attraction. Like you're finally leaving the state for the first time and you go, oh, honey, let's stop at Tamarock Plaza and take the kids. You know, yeah. like it's some meet the Miller shit. Yeah. And, you know, honestly, though, they had a uh, it's not there anymore either because we used to go every year. They had um this like this cafe. I don't remember the name of it. Uh, and I'd never heard of it before, and I was kind of sketched out about it. But their food was fucking delicious. Yeah. And I don't remember the name of it now, but it's not there. They had, like, breakfast foods. It turned into a Burger King, mm-hmm. I think, or some shit. Or no, 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 no. Burger King's in a different area. I don't know, but I always love stopping there because there's the one Starbucks, mm-hmm. and it's 24-hour. Wow. And I Yeah, right? Crazy. Actually, are there, are there a lot of 24-hour uh, Starbucks? Is that I've crazy? I've never seen one before. Oh. I've maybe. seen 24-hour Dunkin's, though. Yeah, I've seen those, but like Starbucks, yeah. I wonder if it's because it's like in a tourist attraction, they like highway stop area. Yeah, maybe. yeah, probably. And I remember that I went in there and I got my usual, you know, the the, the venti, but then I get the extra shots. Mm-hmm. And I swear the, the the barista behind the counter like looked like she wanted to call mental help for me because I wanted like, she was like, you know that's like 
five shots, right? I was like, oh, I'm counting on mm-hmm. it. That shit tastes good. <laughs> that shit, I'm a fat ass. I eat that. <laughs> well, it's like the, the how many shots are you legally allowed to give me the, the TikTok I did? Because I just, I concern people with the amount of espresso I want to put in my coffee to keep myself awake and alive. So. I'm getting a FaceTime. Oh, no. It's a. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> Our guest gonna, for today. I'm not going to answer. You're not going to subject him to that? Nah. All right. But yeah, so um, you, you know what? Does he does he watch podcasts? Mm. Is he gonna know that? Maybe. I feel like that'd be pretty funny because remember he was always like, oh, I always call in the middle of these. I think he knows. No, it's fine. I'll, I'll just text him. Yeah, I feel like, um, hey, you're our guest. Just like be like, yeah, you're our guest. Like so. Yeah. So got to answer. Strap now. in, buddy. Strap, strap in, buckaroo. Um. So. Did you watch Malignant? Told you no, I, no, no, I didn't get around to it. I finished. Um, I might spoil it for everybody. And you. oh, don't do it because I'm actually it's on my list. <sighs> but I wanted to talk about it because I, so, I know, I know. It's so. I figured you would want to talk about um, it, but I got, dude, I got so wound into. Um, you know, I've never really watched DC movies. Uh-huh. I always watch Marvel because Marvel's good. Yes. And uh, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give DC a whirl, right? Because it's all on HBO. Like all the DCEU is on is on HBO. Mm-hmm. And uh, so I started in, in chronological order, not release order. Uh, well, that's not true. I saw Aquaman, and I remembered my buddy being like, "Hey, did you see Aquaman?" And me being like, <laughs> "No," yeah. because it's Aquaman. Yeah. Um, did you ever watch like Justice League or any of those shows growing up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like Aquaman's always portrayed as kind of like like a pussy. Like, yeah. like, what do you do? I talk to fish. Oh, okay. Like, yeah, but I was like, like jacked. Right? No, he was always like that. In the comics, that's how he was. Like in the oh, comics, right, he was right. like a badass. But right. then like they just then they did like the Saturday morning kids show stuff. They always dumbed the heroes kind of down, uh-huh. and then like he got the worst of it. But, like, that movie, my buddy was like, yeah, he's like, you should watch it. And then he's like, you know, first off, Jason Momoa's in it, and he's really fucking good in it. He's like, second off, uh, it portrays Aquaman correctly. And I was like, okay, all right. And that was, like, five years ago when it came out. So yeah. I finally watched it. Um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I saw it, and I was like, oh, ooh, I was supposed to watch that. Yeah. And you know what? Not disappointed. I really? think that one was pretty well done. Um and then I thought about it, and I was like, you know, I should, I should give DC movies a try. So you watched another DC, and movie? that was the biggest mistake of my life. I should have stopped. I should have stopped at Aquaman. Really? <laughs> which one? Which one did you watch that you were like? Eh. So I went to chronological order. Okay. Um, I watched Wonder Woman. Okay. Because so that takes place in like 1914 was it, or was it the 84 one? No, no, that takes place in 1984. Right. So I'm going in chronological order. So I watched the first Wonder Woman, and then I watched 84. Okay. So I watched the first Wonder Woman, and I actually was like, okay. Like, I could see why DC movies get some shit. Because their budget's definitely not as high as Marvel. But, mm-hmm. like, that's understandable because DC really kind of rocks in the, it rocks it in, like, the shows. Uh-huh. Like, Black Lightning, Flash, Arrow. Like, they've got these series on CW that are going that are really good. Yeah. And, and then I was actually talking about my roommate, and it kind of makes sense. Because DC, there's a lot. Like... Marvel, there's a lot, but they can compact it down into like a movie that's entertaining. But uh-huh. DC's unfortunately has a lot. <laughs> a lot of what? Like everything. Like their their um, roster of no, characters? like just just a character's like story is so inter like so edgy and intertwined that it's like they just can't tell an origin story in like a movie. Like I feel yeah. like it has to be shows, and that was my problem. Was like so with Wonder Woman. You know, like they kind of talk a little bit about it and you kind of get like an idea of like, cool, like she, okay. But then like, you know, I, yeah, I watched that and I was like, okay, that wasn't, that wasn't bad. Yeah. Right. Like I could see the appeal. So I turned on Wonder Woman 84 and that's where I made a mistake. Have you seen that one? Cause you mentioned I did. That. Yeah. How did you feel about it? Uh, I don't rem- for some reason I'm like blanking on it. Like I, it wasn't, I don't remember much from it. I just remember like a fight that's- scene probably because that movie was so unmemorable. Yeah, I don't remember That much was from my it. problem with it actually. Was it felt unnecessary? Like it didn't do anything for the character? Yeah. Like it was one of those movies where like Wonder Woman told us like why she came to the man's world and like why uh-huh. she left the island and and like her origin of like learning who she is. And then Wonder Woman 84 just kind of felt like they were like, well, let's make a Wonder Woman movie. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. I forgot all about that movie. No, like I think the cool the fight scene you probably remember is like the coolest part of the movie, which is where she's got like the the wing suit thing. Where it's yeah. got like the wings and she's fighting the cheetah lady and stuff. Like that yeah, was yeah, probably yeah. like my favorite part and that had some of the best like effects to yeah. it. Yeah. Um but like it just didn't feel okay. Didn't hit. And then Chitara, which by the way is the name of the woman she's fighting, that cheetah lady. In the comics, she's like a biologist that messes with like splicing her DNA with an animal to become more powerful yeah and then like in this movie it's just like it didn't make sense like she wished to have wonder woman's everything and then some dude was like give her rage and then she just turned into a cheetah like she just walked out i was like i'm a cheetah now and it's like what the i think when i watched it it was like in passing or i think i was like walking in to, like i wasn't the one who consciously put it on it was like i was was like at a party or i don't remember but i remember digesting a little bit of it and then being like, eh, whatever. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm going in order. So I've just started the Superman movie, mm-hmm. um, which, and that's the, the man of steel one with Henry Cavill. The so far, uh, graphics on point mm-hmm. story is kind of captivating me. Like I'm, I'm interested. Yeah. Um, but I've not, I've only gotten, I only got 30 minutes in cause I actually started it when you were like, I'll be there in 35 minutes. And I was like, oh, okay. I'm only going to get 30 minutes of this. Yeah. Are you that kind of person though? That's, I'm actually curious because some people have told me I'm really weird like that. We're like, I can do that. Where do I'll what? start a movie. Oh, shit. Good job. I'll start a movie. Get, get cozy. Get 30 minutes in and then just like stop it and walk away and be completely fine to come back a day uh, later and keep going. It depends what I'm watching because I do find myself getting into movies. Yeah, like, like it like, depends how invested you get. Yeah, like, and I, but honestly though, I feel like I only really turn off movies when I like. I'm like, eh, like I'm not really feeling it. Yeah. Otherwise, I, I like, think, I think because I was only 30 minutes in and it wasn't like it didn't hook you yet, you know? So I was able to just yeah. kind of be like, hey. I, I can't really watch. I can't just be like, oh yeah, I'm going to put on this movie. And then like knowing I have to do something and then be like, yeah, I'll pick up later. Like I, if I turn off a movie, it's because I'm like snoozer. Yeah. I'm like turn that shit off for now. And then, I, maybe it is because I kind of always have that conscious idea of how much time I have. Because I always look at, like, the runtime. Like, I went to go click it, and it was, like, two hours and something minutes. And I was like, oh, i got to go in 30 minutes. Let I'll make sure I, I have get. time. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I, I will say this. My plan is to watch them, the DCEU, and then watch uh, the Zack Snyder cut for the um, Justice League. And uh, do you know how long the runtime is for that? Three and a half. Four and a half hours. Yeah. Is that yeah. the one that's like filmed in like four by four? Like it's like a like a square. I don't know. Or is I that watched it yet? No. Oh, okay. It's it's like the the better. So they, there was like the Justice League one that was really bad that no one liked, and then there was like the Jack Snyder one, which is like, or Zack Snyder, which is like, not amazing, but way better than what you got in theaters. So it's yeah. kind of like you have to kind of watch the original one, which was terrible, to appreciate the Zack Snyder cut. Um. Well, since we're talking about movies, I might as well talk about this movie. Yeah, and spoil it for me. Yeah, I'm watch it, I'll, like, I'll okay. What I'll do is, are, is are you horror, are you what, like what's it? Genre? It's a horror movie. Oh, uh, I'm like not gonna like, watch it. Just spoil it. I'm. Why? I'm I don't not a huge. Really watch like horror movies. Okay. Well, okay. It depends. What kind of horror? Okay. Like, is it like Stranger Things style horror? Josh or Wan, just like the producer uh-huh. of Saw. Uh, do you like this? like a psychological horror kind of thing? Uh, it. Yeah, it kind of is, but it here's leans, my thing. It leans towards horror, but it's a little psychological twist. Well, because like, here's my thing: I don't like the kind of horror shit that's like could really happen. Like, if it's about like a serial killer, it's a little, it's a little more for me because then it's like, oh shit, like someone could actually be a serial killer. You know what I mean? But like, if it's like, oh no, this ghost is doing a thing, I'm like, okay, well. So you, you know what I mean? You like it when it's like fiction. Yeah, because that's why I like like Stranger Things. Like Stranger Things is kind of fuck you horror. mean Dem- Demogorm- De- Demogorbins are real. Yeah, in, in Dungeons and Dragons. Deba- Demogorbin. No. Dem- Demidomes. <laughs> D- Doug Demogorgons of the Dum Dum Demogorgon. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, they're they're yeah. I don't know. I I, I guess I kind of understand your your point on that. But right, it's like it's like. Uh, well, it also depends how many jump scares there are. Jump scares are cheap horror though. That's not fair. Like, okay, everyone can get startled by a jump scare. All right. I'll 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 break it down for you in a way that like because I would love to watch it with you, 
Oh, well, I mean, yeah, I, I don't care about spoilers. Right. Like, okay, remember, like, Kapow totally spoiled that movie for us? I watch it the next night. Which, was still, which like, one? Awesome. He, he, like, spoiled Lightyear for us. Oh, yeah. yeah. But I already forgot. See, like, dude, I, I don't give a fuck if someone's No, I still remember it, and I watch it, and I was like, I still enjoy it. Because, like, yeah, yeah he told us a spoiler, but there's, like, a whole two hours before I'm not that. The, I'm not the type of person, person that's like, oh, I already know how it ends. I don't want... I could still get... I could still enjoy... it's about the journey. It's not about I, the destination. Exactly. I could still enjoy a movie if someone told me what happens at the end. I don't give a fuck. I'll still watch the shit. I remember when someone was, like, like someone was pissed off because they were, like... I guess like someone on Twitter spoiled Breaking Bad. And they're like, well, you spoil for me now because he dies. I'm like, he had cancer. What did you think he was going to live? Well, he didn't die from cancer, though. Well, okay, no, but like the dude was going to die. Yeah. Like, I no, mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. I, and I think it's long enough dude, now that like it's not a spoiler anymore. Bro, but. so you know how we were talking about how you don't really go on TikTok too much? Yeah. <sighs> My TikTok feed lately has been, so it's been podcasts, mm -hmm. but like also simultaneously it, and I don't know. I don't get this one because I'm not. I'm not interacting with these posts. I guess I'm. I'm watching them, which still counts. For yeah, like doesn't it count time. how like long you? Yeah, watch like it. audience retention. But I am like getting a lot of Breaking Bad memes. Like there's like all these Breaking Bad memes going around. That's Better so Call weird. Saul because it's, dude. Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. The they they're are they getting like a second life or something? Like well, yeah, kind of because like so Breaking Bad got popping again when it was added to streaming. And like a bunch of like people that have ne never like watched it, it's kind of like, like finally yeah, watching yeah. it. Yeah, but what happened with uh, Better Call Saul is that that show started getting really popular, which I actually I enjoyed Better Call Saul. It's pretty good. But they're on their final season. They just wrapped their final season, and I don't know if it's the last episode, but like in one of the episodes, uh, Walter White and Jesse make a make a cameo mm. because have you ever seen Better Call Saul? Mm -mm. So it's it's like. You know, I, you barely, know the, the, I barely remember Breaking Bad. I watched okay. it when it came out. You remember <laughs> the lawyer, right? Yeah. Okay. But I know who that. I know what it is. I get yeah, like yeah. the premise of it. Right. So it's like, but it's it takes place before Breaking Bad, but what happens is the timeline matches up. So what Better Call Saul does is it like it's ending, where like Breaking Bad where begins. Where it's like coming in, yeah. So like, there's a scene when like, Walt. It's like I guess potential spoilers for anyone, like if it matters. Like I said, I don't give a fuck anymore. We're, no, we're a sport. Our we're audience sp might, you know? Nah, nah, fuck y'all. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it's Screw like. Screw all 10 of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like spoilers <laughs> are like, bro, grow up. It's a fucking TV show. Like, oh, you yeah. spoil it. I, I feel like there's oh, certain things it. that people like wait, like the Marvel movies. Like I said, like those, those you don't want to spoil because that's I, like people wait like years for the conclusion of like Endgame and shit. Look, like, I enjoy talking about it. So, like, if people don't want to hear it, they can just skip it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, well, I mean, I've, even like we mentioned, even if it's like you were like, oh, well, you know, Saul shits his pants and that's the conclusion. It would be like, all right, but there's still like 30 minutes up to that point. Or how are the hour episodes? It's like you got yeah, 40 something like minutes before he shits his pants. You can enjoy Bro, it. Bro, we are literally, we live in an age where. It's almost the impossible. Internet. It's impossible, <laughs> dude. So, like, I. I manage it. I really do manage it somehow. Well, if you go on TikTok at least three times a week, no, you can't avoid it. No, 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 fuck no. Would you weren't you even you were saying that about Stranger Things? Like, yeah, yeah. Like, and I, this is this is what's funny is like I'm pretty much I'm pretty up to speed with like what's trending as far as like like what's popping in the in the film shit. Like if people are like if there's a new season of blah blah blah, like I'm pretty much gonna watch it. And if I'm not, I'll like I'll allow myself to kind of just like check it out and get get a little insight because I don't. I don't like watching shit where I'm like, what are they talking about? Right. So like, but it happened with stranger things and it happened. It's happening with breaking bad. where like, I'm watching this shit. And I'm like, wow, if I didn't watch this shit, I would be fucking like, it would be spoiled for me. But again, right. I don't give a shit about spoilers, but it's like, I would be like, but like people that do. It's like, yeah. I, I'd be like, wow. Okay, cool. Or like, you ever see people that spoil shit and, but they think they're doing something when they're like, they're like, they'll like, because there's people that intentionally will make TikToks and it'll just be like some normal shit. And then all of a sudden, like it'll cut and then it'll just be like, uh, yeah, like Walter White dies or something. And it's like, like they thought they were really doing something. But it's like, dude, just fucking who cares? <laughs> you know, like, no, I can't watch my show. Yeah, you know, like they tricked you into hearing a spoiler. <laughs> yeah, I know. But like, oh, God, don't oh, oh, you, on, fling it. They you, tricked me and I can't watch me. it now. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't mind. But um, 
What was I? Oh man, I was fucking. You're talking about Better Call Saul. Yeah, yeah. So it ends where it begins, and basically it's kind of like they, they just like you know there's like full circle in the beginning. Well, I guess not full circle because there's no like. Yeah, it's like it's like you only know of the character because he was in Breaking Bad originally. Yeah. but then it was, it's like kind of like I guess it's like a treat for the audience. Like, oh, that's the thing. That's where they meet. Yeah, and I wonder like if they really intentionally meant to do that from the beginning because it's like in the beginning it's it's like nothing. It's like years before, like Walter White's like a fucking teacher just being a normal fucking. Do you, do you think they maybe like sped up the timeline artificially to make it do that? So it was like, it felt I think like they a like conclusion for people. I think what they did is they started dropping hints in the last season. And cause like there was a, there was an episode where, um, Jimmy or, you know, Saul, he like says like, he says he mentions Walter White in like passing, you know, but he's like, he's just saying, yeah, a guy comes into my office and he's, a, he's blah, 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 blah. And like, he's like talking to him, like, as it, like, as if he's a client and it starts like getting to the point, like, oh shit. Now they're like, now they're in the same, like, I mean, they've always been in the same universe, but now it's like, they're they're, they're the it's same, like meeting like, up. Yeah. The time and, times are getting there. Yeah. And people were talking mad shit because like Jesse looked didn't look like he looked older because the fucking guy's like 45 now. Right. Okay. Come on. Though. And like, it's like, that's why people were making fun of it. Like when people or like when Breaking Bad fans watch a cameo of Je- of a 45 year old Jesse playing a 25 year old. Like it's like, and it's like, they're all pissed and it's like, dude. Oh well, yeah. Humans grow up. Yeah. Well, yeah like, but it's weird because <clears throat> it's like when you look at someone that's like in their mid twenties and then you look at them when they're 40, there's a discernible difference right like you could see their their face looks a little different i guess but like like unless you're unless you're unless you're like pharrell williams that dude doesn't age no yeah um but no it's like uh with what's his name walter white um what's his brian cranston brian cranston he actually he 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 looks exactly that's the the thing like because he hit that age exactly that age you hit those gaps it's like like uh, like twenty years old or so you stop like growing or whatever and that's like from twenty to like thirty five ish and then like like it's weird because it's like like from forty to like like fifty five and then yeah. 50, like there's these chunks where like you kind of retain the same look and then yeah like, but like Brian Cranston you know, looks the same Jesse just looks different because it's like that it's he's just different. like older yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah yeah all right you got a couple extra wrinkles because now you're more stressed like when you are when you're fifty like you don't really look I mean my dad pretty much. Mo- pretty much looks the same. He may maybe lost some weight, but it's like if you're fifty, you kinda look the same when you're sixty. You're just another yeah. you're just old old still. <laughs> Until you hit that next like level up evolution. And then there's like the old old shit. Like, yeah. like there'll and be a time. And you just like you just wake up one day and then it's like all your Duh! hair is gray and you've got like a Gandalf beard. Yeah. <laughs> and then you gotta choose, do I keep this or do I like shave it? Like you just wake up and it's like you took like that that cosmetic potion. Man, I don't wanna be old, bro. No? I don't know. I don't think anyone does. I think about it. I'm like, what am I just going to wake up and be like, no. Yeah. You're just going to literally, you're going to go to sleep like this and you're just going to wake up the next morning and you're going to be like, Oh, my ankles are popping. Trust me. I went through that. You know what scares me though? About like when people like, uh, they'll like interview old people and be like, feel any, any different. They're like, no, my mind feels the same, but I look in the mirror and I'm old and I'm like, that's even scarier. Like just feeling like how you feel now, but you're just like, you're just old, old, but that—that's just like that's how it works, dude. Like, our yeah. brains don't really, like, brains are electricity, and electricity doesn't get old. Yeah, exactly. Like it's the the rest of the body. We just and that's why we got these people that live to be like like Betty White and the Queen and these people that are living so long. It's like as long as you just take care of like this part, take your sack. vitamins. If you take care of the meat sack, the the processor lives. You know. Yeah. Um, okay, we'll talk it about meat sacks. I'll talk about that's it. an interesting transition. I want to know yeah. where this is going. <laughs> M- malignant. So like, why anyways. did meat sack bring up? Mal- now I'm interested. Why okay. did meat sack bring up malignant? Okay, it was like a tumor, malignant, malignant tumor. Mm-hmm. Oh. So you've seen? Have you seen any Saw? No. Really? No. I don't like those kind of movies. I told you that a guy that can kidnap you and torture you is a thing that could happen in real life. I don't want to watch movies like that. Damn, son. I've Damn. watched the scary movies. Does that help? Like the, the, the like the parody movies, because they, they talk about Saw. I mean, I know of Saw. Yeah, you get, like, the, you get it. You get the premise. Like, I've never seen Saw, but okay. there's enough it's culture. The same, it's the same 
dude who produced that made mm-hmm. this movie. So he he went back because he made like I think he even made an Aquaman, actually, or he made like some some. Well, there's only one Aquaman, so he. What's his name? Josh Wan, I think. Hold on, let me let me look it up for you, just so I don't fuck this up. Yeah, I was gonna say I would look it up, but my phones are somewhere. My phones. My phones are okay. Misplaced. So James Wan, I think I said Josh, but James you did Wan. Say Josh, yes. He's the producer, okay? Mm. And executive producer? <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. the, the Santa Claus? Yeah, well, I guess he is the executive producer. The 35 executive producers on yeah. Santa Claus? Oh, you know what? I just need James Wan. Yeah, just type James in James Wan. Wan DC. Who do you think is a DC movie? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, I'm going to name these. Yeah, he did He did Aquaman. He did might he? have like... Let me see which Aquaman. This, the one from 2018. Oh, wow, I didn't even know. I, but, I thought the other guy did. Oh, he's that, the direct. He's the director. Well, yeah, that's what that is. Yeah. Well, like there's, you could be a producer, or a director. What's the difference? They both have a say in how it works. No, it's true. It's true. Um, you ever seen Conjuring? No. Um, Insidious? Nope. Annabelle? No, because nope. you would. Yeah, you would know. Um, <laughs> You wouldn't, okay, so you've probably never seen any of these. Lolo, have you ever seen Aquaman, Lolo? apparently, is the only one. you ever seen, uh, I guess he did Furious 7. Either way. I've stopped watching Fast and Furious after 3. So, yeah, same. I think everyone has. Either way, he's done a lot of horror movies, but he like. And like took, one or two weird movies yeah, that don't yeah. fit the genre. Well, he kind of like, he kind of took a step back from the horror mo- the horror scene. And then now he's like back to his roots with malignant um so if you know any of anything about saw is it's kind of it's kind of like over the top the music is kind of like really dramatic and like but it's like also very rhythmic and it's like this is like no no and it's like all of a sudden you're just seeing this like thing open and it's a bunch of syringes and she has to jump inside and get the key at the bottom and it's play dun, 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 dun. exactly that's saw yeah. you've seen every saw if i just go and then you you have to go like you have to go like oh i put a key inside her eyeball say that yeah okay i've placed a key inside her eyeball there you go you have to get yeah you have to you have to get it somehow yeah what would you do there's also some pliers Mm. and a thing over there (laughs) that you could use how would you get it how are you gonna get you remember uh so in scary movie remember how it's dr phil and shaft He cuts yeah. off his foot. He's like, you wrong cut off foot. Wrong foot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So it's funny because if you've seen that scene in scary movie, you've also seen every saw. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, and then Shaq is trying to shoot the basket and he keeps missing. And then it hits Dr. Phil in the head. I still can't believe that Dr. Phil like did, the, did that. Why? I don't I feel know. like he's so self-aware. He would do that. Like, I don't I feel know. Like that's definitely something I, I like, see him. Doing. I look back on it. And I look at that and I'm, yeah, he's self-aware, but it's like, it seemed just so like ridiculous that he did that. Like, right. But like, 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 cause they normally do like, it would be like someone that looked like Dr. Phil, like with But you know what? It's crazy when you, when you, I'll watch an episode of Family Guy. Yeah. And they're like making fun of someone. Yeah. Or like the Cleveland show. Uh They did this whole thing. Was it the Cleveland show with like um, Kenny West instead of Kanye West where they were like. He's working at like a Chuck E. Cheese knockoff because his rap career is not getting started and he raps with Cleveland about something. And I don't remember that at and all. I, and he's supposed to be making fun of Kanye West. And I'm over here like, wow, like they got a guy that sounded just like Kanye West to make fun of Kanye West. And it was Kanye West. Yeah. Like he just played a role where he made fun of himself. Yeah. Like you'd be surprised just no, how yeah. like self-aware actors are. Also, I people. forgot how popular like the early scary movies were. Yeah, like I feel like if you got offered to be on that, it would like be they like, did really wow like, commercially. Like let's let's play another let's, uh, box let's office game. Look. Let's, let's take a look. At Man, I really game. hope our viewers like movies because we talk about movies yeah, a lot. I that's really like our hope thing. So. Yeah, one of our things that we. Talk I feel about. like we're like the, like Video Chris, games, we're, we're Chris and um, what's the oh, yeah. Carl from the yeah you ever, you ever yeah. seen out of this yeah <laughs> it's really you want to hear my impersonation of Archer this is my impersonation of Archer okay you want to hear my impersonation of Bob's Burgers this is my <laughs> this is that shit's guy. funny that shit's have you funny. did you see the no no Bob's Burgers movie no oh I did see that it was actually fairly decent but no did you ever watch Archer 
Yeah. Did you see the Bob's Burger one? Yeah, Where yeah. Where he just he wakes like, up and it's like everyone's drawn in like Archer style. That uh-huh. was so trippy. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. That shit was funny. No, Bobby. Yeah. <laughs> so scary That's gotta movie, be why I was saying that. Scary Movie 2 did 141 million. I thought it would have done better. Scary Movie Three did twenty two or uh, two hundred and twenty million. Okay, that sounds about right. And then, then that was the peak. That was like the best one commercial wise. Yeah, because Scary didn't Movie they make th- like, did they make two more or one more? Two more. Then Scary Movie Four did one hundred seventy eight. Still better than Scary Movie Two. Which one though. was Scary Movie Four? Scary Movie Four was that was the one with Shaq. That oh, that was, was the, the War of the Worlds one. Saw, yeah, this one with Charlie Sheen. That's the one yeah. where they they kill off Charlie Sheen's character, right? Yeah. He yeah. like falls out of the balcony with the. I love, I love Scary Movie Four. Not a lot of people like it, but I do. That one, but yeah. Was, wait, what, what the? What, which one was five? Was that a new one? Scary Movie Five did seventy-eight million. Big <laughs> holy shit! Look, I was mentioning this. I don't even know if I mentioned it on the podcast, but so I watched it. I thought it was like it had some moments, but it it wasn't it wasn't that good, right? No, it didn't hit like the old movies. But here's the thing. So I'm a big horror fan. We wait, wait, wait. so which one did that come out? When did Scream Movie 5 come out? Thir- t- 2013. Oh my God, that's so, so long ago. I've yeah. never seen it. Yeah. It'd be kind of funny to watch it though if you've never seen it. Which like, one? Wait, no, wait, wait, though. What happens in it? Or were you about to talk about that? Like, I, it's, it's like, um, I was kind of, so what I was going to say is that from 20, I feel like 2010 to like 2017 was a flop era. For, sca- for horror movies, I think. Because Hollywood horror was like obsessed with like, at that point, they were obsessed with like the paranormal activity and the steady yeah, shots. Yeah, you stuff. know what? I could see that because that was around the time with paranormal activity. They was, started doing a lot more yeah. of that like, and like then, that. Yeah, that, ca- like, and then it was like a lot of security footage type mm-hmm. shit. And it was a lot of like cabin stuff and like like Oh yeah, because that was stuff. like cabin in the woods. Yeah, so and, that's, um, that's one of them that they that they did so it's it basically it follows character it, it has to do with see i can't even i could barely remember it because it was it was kind of mid but like it has to do with like they're in the woods and there's they're in the woods that's oh, like all yeah. uh, I, I, and i've not seen it because i would remember no like, yeah like i could tell you if if you ask me like scary movie one i could literally tell you that it's like based off of like i know what you did last summer and scream and all the early was slasher that films. scream i thought that was two no choose with the the mansion and the bird that cusses right exactly yeah and that's a my yeah. germs the guy yep. with the messed up hand yeah and that's when they smoke the guy like a joint yep. yeah 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 so that was a good one i remember i don't think i've dude, i don't actually think i've seen scary movie one it's really good I feel like because I know it's about scream and stuff, but I feel like I feel like I started with two because I just came into it. Yeah. It's like you could just start wherever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, wait, didn't one have the run, bitch, run? Wasn't that or was that Maybe. two? Maybe I don't know. I don't know. But but yeah, scary movie five. Um, like they had like in another thing too that was that kind of sucked about it is like Anna Ferris wasn't in it. Yeah, that and you know what I think that's what really. It was, it was, yeah. So, oh, I'm, oh my God, I'm remembering now. Okay. Oh no. I had to look at some pictures to, to like remind myself. Cause I only watched it like once. Cause like the other, Wait. Scary, the other scary movies were like, Maybe I did see that they were in a cabin. Was that the one? No, I'm no, thinking no, no. of the mansion one. I'm definitely okay. thinking of the mansion one. The cabin was just a, a, a like a, a side. Okay. Thing. No. Yeah. You know what? I am thinking of the mansion one. Cause that was with the, the jock and they split up and they were like checking the basement or something. Yeah. I yeah. Remember. Okay. So the, the fifth one is it follows like uh, Ashley Tisdale and Simon Rex are like a couple and it's literally paranormal activity. Okay. Then I've definitely not seen it. And it's just a bunch of spoofs about random shit happening. And it's like, what, what was the, what was the, the parody movies that came out of paranormal activity? Haunted house. No, there was another one. There, there was, was a like, lot of them. There was a lot of them, but, but there was one that the came out. The Brothers did a haunted house. No, no, there was one that came one. out though that was like like pure passive aggressive satire. Like you could not tell it was like unless you could read between the lines, you didn't know. It was called like psychological activity or something like. I yeah, I've heard of that. They, it was it yeah. was like some like paranormal activity activity like knockoff movie. Dude, they yeah, I I know what you're talking about. I forgot what it's called, but I did. Yeah, it was like something like that where it was like something like it wasn't paranormal. It was like like psychological activity or. Dude, something but it was like people saw it and like just came out of it and were like that was like a terrible horror movie and it's like but they didn't understand because they did such a was it a parody it was supposed to be a parody yeah it was supposed to be a satire like it wasn't a parody in the sense of scary movie where it's like they actually make fun of it it was a parody in the sense that like 
they just did the genre, but they did it like like really cheesy on purpose. Because mm-hmm. it was the scene where it was like the there was like a scene where like the girl gets like dragged down the stairs, but like slams her head against every step or something like that, and it was like so people were like, "Oh, it's kind of silly for a horror movie." It's like yeah, that's because it was supposed to be like a parody, supernatural activity. That was it, supernatural activity. I don't know. I don't remember. Maybe I've seen it. I probably have. But like, that's the thing. So that was what Hollywood was on in like the 2012s. Yeah. And like, you know, they were riding that, and that phase. So, and then everything that wasn't that kind of sucked too. Like there wasn't anything really great going on. Like seriously, like if you look at like well, the catalog. It, it follows the same thing that happens with like game design. Like the, the industry, the industry gets on an hook. idea yeah right like yeah. it's like like right now it's a lot of um like a lot of indie devs are throwing out ghost hunting and paranormal games because one game made it huge and like right. so everyone's trying to ride the coattails but because they're all focusing so hard on making that kind of game all the other games that are also coming out at the time are like poopy because yeah. it's like the, like they're like ah oh, let's just throw this out. yeah yeah so it kind of follows the same trend with like movies like everyone's on this horror kick so it's like studios that are producing other types of movies, like they give up because it's like, oh, everyone just wants to go see horror movies. So it's like they don't yeah. try as hard or it well, feels like they're putting half into it, you know? It's like when, yeah, there's like trends. There's always trends like every couple of years. And right now it's, a, it's I would say horror is back back to a good place again. But Yeah, like what is coming out? There was Nope, the Minions movie. Like oh, there's a, bunch, there's a bunch of shit I'd have to look on my phone. I was going to say like what, what's shit. the trend right now? Like what's... I hope it's getting good again, but like what there's gotta be something like so like so- psychological thrillers are really good and like stuff like Midsummer. Like have you seen Midsummer? No. You've recommended it to me and I purposely not watched it because it sounds scary. It's like it's it's traumatically scary. Like that's like it's so weird because I can watch people like play horror games and shit. Some are even like some of the horror games I've seen people play are scarier than fucking scary so, movies. But like yeah, I don't know why. It's like a movie's just kind of different to me. Like I consume so it you differently were saying, in my head. You were saying that like things that really scare you are things that could really happen, right? Yeah. Well, I'm also just scared of all the other stuff too. I just said that to sound tough. No, I see what you, you're saying though, because like Midsummer is like it, it's a situation that's like a little exaggerative, but it could really happen, and you feel very close to the characters because it just feels like something that you could find yourself somehow. They're, they're literally like in another country and there's just like, it's all this crazy shit happening. But you think like, wow, like this is a very similar situation or that I would, or this is a similar thing that I would, how I would react to this shit happening yeah. is how I would react. How they're reacting is how I would react. And it, it is, it is kind of like that. Cause like, so my thing is, it's kind of weird. Cause like, um, like, like I said, like stranger things, I know people don't see stranger things as a horror, but let's be honest. It's got a lot of creepy shit in it. It's yeah. got like monsters. It's, and, I would call it spooky. Right, like it's, it could it's, be it's not like, you know, I mean, it's TV horror because, right, it's produced like, you know, to be kind of more for everyone. Yeah. But like movies like that, like for instance, Paranormal Activity, uh-huh. you know, I went and saw that and uh, the only parts that scared me, the, the only thing that scared me about that movie was just the jump scares. That's where it got its cheap cheap tricks. I'm not a fan of those movies. No, yeah, because it's like, uh, there's nothing actually sc- I walked out of the movie theater and I was like, alright, well, I guess the big thing I'm scared of right now is my cabinet's flying open at any given moment and people, scaring me. I remember like, going to the theater and people were so like, oh, oh my god, because it was a new it was a new concept for sure. Like, obviously, like there hasn't been movies that were doing it like that and like people were it like... It was just repeated jump it, scares. Yeah, yeah, like, but it, it just made people feel... It, it got... The Your camera, it got, it put the camera on a home, inside a home, and you're not used to seeing, at the time, people weren't used to seeing, like, something that could, could be yeah, like, your house. Because the whole thing was, wasn't, the whole movies were, like, security footage, right? Yeah. Like, it was, like. It's supposed to feel real. It's, like, they, that was their whole, like, the whole gist of it was, like, this is supposed to be real. Uh, but it's, like, it's obviously not real, duh. But it's, like, no, they want no. you to feel that way. But. All this was get heading towards is malignant, and I'm, I'm we're almost done here. But I'm gonna I'll wrap it up in a point in a, in, a, in a little in a ten minute. A little poop gack. A uh, poop gack. I can't stop saying it now. This week, Billy and Mister Sue talk about movies and movies and more movies and poop gack and poop gack. Um, yeah, this one's gonna be a a movie one, huh? Yeah, it's a movie episode. That's all right. Who cares? That's, but that's like so easy to talk about because everyone loves movies. 
Yeah. Like just like talking about video games. Everyone, even if you don't play video games, you like watching other people play yeah. video games. Like also, I want to mention, uh, I should have mentioned this in the beginning. We're only filming this like two days. What is it? It's been two days since our last episode because I'm going to LA for the week and we're not going to be able to film on our regular scheduled time. So there's really not much to talk about because we just hung out. You know what I mean? Like normally yeah. we got like we, we, we have got, like, a, a whole week's of time. Like, to, what did you do? Oh, yeah, I did this. I did this. Yeah. So Malignant, it uh, basically is a story of this girl who traveled it, around the whole world. <laughs> All right, anyways, she basically is ride a river and travel the whole world. Those are the lyrics. What is it? Oh yeah. I could I could say travel, travel the, the whole world. world. Yeah. And while she looks so sad in her photographs, I absolutely I love, love her, her when, when she smiles. smiles. Ah. We should yeah. do a duet. <laughs> that song is fucking. So when do I get to be on a Billy track? You want to jump on a song, bro? Yeah, I'll do it. I'll sing just like that. I'll just get you on, like, just saying, like, an ad lib, like, yeah. 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 Love it's in the background. Bobby. Bobby. Of the Billy. Billy. Yeah, I know. Clean your room. All right, so check it out. Yeah, so malignant. Some girl traveled malignant. the world. No. That's what you said. She didn't travel the world. She, oh, sorry. Some, some, some girl, uh, she's born with some abnormalities. Basically, right. malignant abnormalities. This is it, this is an instant spoiler. Oh well, come on, man. Because the sh- the movie is it's it's built up to like make you go, oh shit, that's why this. Oh shit, that's a like so like I have to start to explain it. I have to start because it's like almost goes backwards because you don't get the reveal. Right. So it's like one of those things where it's like that last minute kind of like yeah, twist yeah. and then all of it falls into place. Exactly. And then you go, oh, that's why she was doing it. And the oh, dominoes fall. Yeah. Okay. And it, all, so, it all settles in. Exactly. So the, the way it starts off though is this girl, she's, she's an orphan. She gets adopted by a family and she you know when she's younger she's like talking to a uh she's talking to an imaginary friend named gabriel that's a terrible name for an imaginary friend. yeah so she's just like you know she's over there like it's an angel gabriel said huh it's an angel isn't it it's supposed to be the devil but it's like do do your research or it's like devil's name wasn't gabriel or i think they wasn't it i don't fucking know shit about that i don't think so but i don't know but Either way, it's like Gabriel's a different angel, isn't he? Not the person to ask. I have no fucking clue. I, uh, I don't remember. I watched the series Lucifer, and that doesn't count because that's a DC comic. Lucifer. But if you haven't watched that show, you really should. No, I don't know. But either way, it's his name is Gabriel, and he's just mm-hmm. a imaginary friend. And then she always talks to him, and she like she'll like go she'll like grab a phone that's like a fake, uh, like the candy dispensing ones or something. Yeah, it'll be like a little yeah, kid phone. Toy She's phones. like somehow talking to him through electronics. So basically years go down the line. We meet her at, you know, as an adult and she's just living in a home, uh, like not in like an, like an assisted living home. Like she's living in a, when you say like she's (laughs) living in a home, she's living in a home. So basically, yeah, yeah, she's living in her house. She's living in an assisted living home. (laughs) (laughs) No, she's just, she's a normal ass person. Right. We think. And then, turns out that she starts having these like um night terrors right okay. like so she's like, just like bad nightmares or something like really bad nightmares. yeah but what's happening is like she's she, she thinks that she's dreaming of these situations of like really horrific events of people getting killed in different ways right mm-hmm. that's like what she thinks she's seeing right and she gets into a fight with her boyfriend, and this guy's like a piece of shit. Like they always wow, a boyfriend in an assisted living home? No, no, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. I'm not letting that go. That like, hey, funny. honey, here's your peaches. You <laughs> take you open up for your rainbow medications. Yeah, no, <laughs> like he's just he's a piece of shit, low life fucking scum fuck. Like, of course, you they can't always, have a horror movie without that. Yeah, they always do. Yeah, and then all we see is this like black figure like a black uh like shadow silhouette yeah, like a shadow come to this guy's you know like it's like you see like that's like the first jump scare as you see like the, there's like this thing sitting on the couch and then he turns the light on and that's not it's not there and then the thing like fucks this guy up crazy like breaks his neck he looks like he's just like a fold he's like folded like a pretzel he's like oh shit so now he lives in a home yeah yeah no <laughs> he's like literally like you'd have to like scrape him off with like a spatula and be like like yeah. he was he was turned into mincemeat right from this thing and now she's in the hospital recovering 
and she has no memory of anything. And now, you know, weird shit starts happening where, you know, she's literally every night she goes to sleep. She's like seeing these horrific things happening. And what happens is like, it's, uh Oh, Gabriel's back. <laughs> it's a really, uh, yeah. I mean, if you already didn't know, I mean, that's, that's where it's, where it's headed. Yeah, if, we're not, if, we, if you haven't picked up on when it. you're watching it though, you don't really, you, they don't play it like that. Like, but really, because like, so wait, when you're watching it, is it that order? Like she's just talking to an imagine, or is that like later? That's later. So you know what I'm oh, saying? so like you, I where do you that. come in on this? You come in on this, like you with come, the boyfriend shit. There, yeah. You come in on that. You don't even know that she so was it, like at this yet. point you would have just been like whoa there's yeah, a yeah, demon yeah. in the house yeah, or yeah. something yeah exactly like i just said that so we're not lost but like you right, you pretty right. much get it that like whatever this thing that yeah so essentially you know now there's a lot of cool cgi a lot of cool effects happening um where like when she's sitting in a room like she's sleeping but then all of a sudden it like the i actually watched a a thing about how they filmed it. Like they yeah, the had her on a green screen. And and like they did a lot of cool, like doll. They did like a dollhouse shot where, cause everything was, sound, sh- s- everything was set on a sound stage. They use a spider cam where it's above. And while she's running through the entire house, it goes from room to room to room, even followers are upstairs, but it's one tracking shot. Looks crazy. I'm gonna have hmm. to show you. It looks fucking nuts. It looks yeah, really I, cool. I bet that sounds interesting. They like had to build an entire sound stage Cause normally they don't build the whole house in a sound stage, but they had to right. do that but just they had for that to, shot. You had to be able to go all these rooms. Yeah, yeah. Crazy. Um, and it looks, it looks incredible. The movie's filmed really well. Um, but then essentially she just, she's like noticing all this crazy shit's happening. And then it turns out, cause then what, what happens is you start now, like there's a, you, they slowly start revealing what this thing looks like. Cause I start off where it's just this black silhouette. Now you're seeing like, this like long hair and like, he just looks like this like dingy, like scary dude. Right. Oh my God. He's beautiful. Yeah. No, he looks like shit. He oh, literally okay. looks ugly as fuck. Like you're like, what the fuck is that? Um, but essentially it's like the typical scary movie fashion where like, then the detective is on the case and it starts, it starts feeling a lot like saw. Um, and then basically what happens is then she, uh, the, the cop like is in a fight with this demon ass motherfucker, right? So he's in a fight with this thing and you see, you see its face for the first time and it looks like some shit out of like the Goonies. Like this dude's like, like, sloth. like yeah, he looks all fucked up. His, his face, he just looks like a, like an alien ass wow. thing. Demon. What do you expect? Exactly. But you don't, you don't know. Well, what like the, they got beauty regimens when, in hell. But when you're watching that shit, you don't know what the fuck that's supposed to be. You're just like, Ugh. and you're oh noticing well, the first thing that I, this is why I thought the movie was hilarious. The dude is like running backwards. He's running oh. backwards. Okay. So he's like, ah, ah, and you're, you're watching him, but instead of running, like how we run, he's like going backwards, but his head is facing forwards. Oh, okay. So his body is backwards. His head's forwards. That's interesting. That's so come to find interesting out way to live. No, I know, but it comes to find out that Gabriel and this girl are the same person. They're the same body. Hmm. And what happens is she, when, when her boyfriend hit her head, it like woke up Gabriel because what happened was when she was born, she was born as a, as twins, but she absorbed half of Gabriel in the womb. So when she's, when she's like a little ass kid, she's got this like crazy looking thing on her back. It's like, it's like this gross, like gremlin ass thing. They cut all the, you know, the lungs and the, and the f- hands and all this like barely developed shit and stuff it inside her skull and sew it up because if they cut all of it out, then they, then she would like have brain damage because they cut her skull. I don't skull. think that's how that scientifically works, but we'll, well go like, with Imagine it. if like, if your twin was like attached to your brain, so they couldn't really cut out the, like the last parts of it but they were able to cut off the body and all that stuff. Right. But so how does that turn into a demon? 
Well, I think that's like what they're alluding at is that it always was this like crazy, like demon thing, but I don't think it like necessarily has to be like, it's like, I think that's just what they're getting at or something that it's like this crazy, like, I don't know, but, but like, so it's not like her though. It's not like she's blacking out and it's like an altar kind of thing. Well, like it's, like, it's not her. No, it's this guy. What he does is he like, all of a sudden he takes control of her body and her limbs and she's just like there, but like she doesn't, that's why all those dreams she's having, that's her killing the people. But she sees it as like this demon ass weird fucking thing killing people, but it turns out it's her. So that's what the whole like, the whole hmm. thing is, is when she's thinking back, it's like, oh, it was always me. Cause she like, you know, would see, she like goes to the cops. She's like, I just, I witnessed a murder in my dream of this, this guy, blah, blah, blah. But it's like, it was, she witnessed it because she was there. But when she remembers it, it's like, she's like having like an out of body experience watching yeah. Gabriel kill these motherfuckers. So it turns out that it's actually her. But what's so creepy to me is that at the final, like, you know, last 15 minutes of the movie, they reveal it all and they show Gabriel like fighting a bunch of people. And it's just her be like behind his head, just like staring because she's just like, Oh shit, I can't do anything. She's and like, this hey, thing's hey. this thing's like slicing people up, and she's like, oh, and she's just like deadpan, and it it looks like as horrifying and scary as it looks, it also is is also hilarious. Like it's just kind of like like this, yeah, because it just like looks so bizarre. It's such a bizarre like thing to be witnessing, right? Like this double human thing, and then like at the end, she just uh, realizes that she has control, like control of him, and she could. She just has to gain control again of her body and then lock him away in his in her mind and like it was like, but it was funny. Like you I, couldn't figure that out two hours ago, bitch, when you were killing everyone. <laughs> yeah, no, she had no clue. She was just waking. She would just wake up in her bed and be like, "What? Like what the fuck?" And she just thought it was a crazy dream, but she's literally out there. And it's but it's so funny. It's so funny watching this thing run. It's like, ah, ah, and it's running backwards. And it's so gross to watch it run. Like to watch something run backwards when yeah. you don't even know what it is. And it's like, cause it's like her hair is like covering the guy's face. So it just looks like this like crazy thing. I don't know. But yeah, that's, that's my malignant story. It's a good movie. It's fucking hilarious. It's hilarious in like the it's sense. It's hilarious. Of, in I don't like know a scary how people. Way. I've never. I haven't talked to a lot of people about horror movies in the sense of like, if people are really out here like, laughing, but like when I watch Saw movies, for example, like it's same same guy. Like, I think it's so funny. Like it's like I'm laughing. I'm like, ah, it, it, well, because it's like it's like a ludicrous idea. Like it's like you know like so. And I think that's why scary movie kind of made the jokes it did because it's like. That's like someone else could, and that's why those are because that's like yeah, there's other people that obviously see that as like hilarious because that's why scream. Like, like I like, don't know if like people actually get like, some people are like oh my god oh like they're actually scared. I'm like if I'm scared of something, I'm laughing. I'm like oh shit, that's funny. <laughs> we all gonna die. Yeah. Like you know, I mean, I guess at that point it's like you might as well laugh at it because it's funny. But yeah, yeah, yeah if, if you were like in that situation, it would be like, well, I guess I could just laugh because I'm going to die. And that was my whole thing, too, is that like if they made a scary movie six, there's a lot of good scary movies that have come out since then that they could totally parody. <sighs> yeah, but you know what the problem is? I just I don't think it would be there, man. Well, they wouldn't be able to do it because like they wouldn't be able to get the funding because of how bad the last one did. It would have mm. to be a completely different company that was like, no, yeah, do this. it would have to be like a Hail Mary. Like we, we loved it so much and I'm a million dollar investor. And yeah. Wanna, you know, but like more than that, even. Yeah. No, that, that last one, they, they fumbled it and it was just, they wanted to get one out and they, the, the parody, the movies just weren't hitting. So if the movies aren't hitting, then the parodies aren't going to hit. Uh, but like now since 2013, there's been tons of shit tons of shit they could parody but teach their own the people next to us have been talking this whole time oh i'm not the only one good i thought i was so nuts. i'm hoping y'all didn't hear it i wanted to say we got some updates on the way it's gonna be a good day Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
Have you ever seen someone run backwards? Have you ever seen it with your own eyes? That shit is so cursed. Whoa, whoa, whoa. If you're running at me backwards, I will piss my pants. That's scary. It's kind of like an exercise having to right, do like this to shit because yeah. we have to like, we don't know when we're going to end and I don't know what I'm going to say. Right. And I don't know what I'm going to sing about. I don't know what melody I'm going to sing. All right, guys. Um, Noodles. We'll see you guys next week. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching.